Hello guys and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to learn how to make an object detection app. It's going to be a very simple app, not a very fancy one, but it's going to be a very intelligent app. So our agenda for today is we will we will start by setting up our, our G drive and then we'll import our model. Then we'll do some object detection and finally our main goal is to make a simple GUI graphical user interface on object detection app. I am Sachad Mustafa, your instructor from AI Sciences and if you are new to our channel, let me tell you, you if you are a beginner in your artificial intelligence career, you are welcome here. We make a lot of courses that explains how to start your career and how to ex excel in your career um, if you are very interested in artificial intelligence. So uh, let's move on towards our agenda. <laughs> So by the way, here is a disclaimer. This video will not tell you how YOLO actually works. If you're interested in uh, the working of YOLO, you can find a video in, uh, in description. So in this video, we are going to build a graphical user interface app over object detection that will, that will tell you, let's say if you select, um, if you select car from a drop down menu, it will tell you which photos or which images or which frames are are those frames in which there are cars actually present so let's start here is some code that you will you will find in a link in description uh, you, you just have to import the code and you have to run it so uh, so let me tell you what what will happen if you you will run this cell this will actually mount your google drive with with your uh, with your collab with your Google Collab. By the way, if you will click over here, it will open up your Google Drive. This is my Google Drive. So let me close it a little bit. And then if you will run it, it will enable your GPU if you have with your uh, with, with your computer. And then finally here, we are cloning the, the YOLO version 5. So, and also we are installing some requirements. You, you don't have to do anything, you just have to run these cells, right? And then what we have to do is, here we go. From here, we will start our actual work. So here is some script. You just have to paste link of a folder that contains some photos. In my case, I have already uploaded some photos in my Google Drive. So I'll go to my drive and I'll go to YOLO images, right? And here you can see that I have some images. Let me show you over here. Right, this is one image. Then I have uh, another image related to football, like this, and then I have another image related to cricket. Uh, here we go. Right, so so I have these three images for now. Uh, let me let me close it. Okay, so I will just right click over here. I'll I'll say copy path, right, and I will come over here. I'll say uh, let me find a paste option okay so so let's just uh, press ctrl v or paste right so it will paste the 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 link of this or the path of this folder that contains your images right and then I, what i have to do is i just i just have to run this cell right um, but one thing you have to change one thing in this code First of all, you have to, before running the cell, you have to go to YOLO v5, this folder, and then you will, five, uh, you will find a file called detect.py. You have to double click over here. It will open some file, right? And you have to delete the code. Let's say you have to de delete everything from here. And then you will find this code in description with the file updated predict.py txt so just control a select all then copy it then come back and paste it over here what what will happen is i have already uh, edited and adjusted this code so that it will it will work really fine right so now now we're good to go let's run it and it will probably give us the the object detections on on these three images here we go so here you can see that 
on on image image that call that is called cars we have detected six persons one car and one truck right and the image that is called football we have detected five persons one sports ball right makes sense and then the third image called cricket we have detected 16 persons one sports ball and two baseball bats right so these are the things that we have detected and let me let me show and also it, it tells us that if you want to you want to check the results where you can go you can go to runs then detect and then expect 24 so let's go to runs let's go to detect and by the way if you are doing it for the first time you will find only this folder so since i have run um, a lot of experiments this is my experiment number 24 that's why this folder name is exp24 okay so here if i'll, I'll click over here you will you will see an image that will be labeled and here you can see that it is labeled with with a lot of classes person truck etc and if i'll i'll open this football image you will see that it is also annotated and it is annotated by person and an, another person and stuff like that so let me close this we are interested in labels right let me op open this labels folder this is nothing it just extracts the 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 labels that are being showed in in the pictures so let's say in in car picture we have person we have car and we have truck right and let's say in cricket uh, image we have person we have sports ball we have baseball bat and stuff like that so let's close it and let's let's write some code over here so that we can we can you can make um, a GUI app so let's start and let's say um, dictionary okay let's make a dictionary and then let's make a directory as well and in this directory we will paste we will copy the path of this labels right and we will paste it over here in a string followed by a backslash right and then we'll say for file in os dot os dot list directory and here we'll say we'll pass dir by the way before that uh, you you also have to import the OS, right? So we'll say import OS. Awesome. So here, what we can do is we'll say f equals to open. We'll open a file for reading purpose, and here is the address of this file directory plus file. Okay, and then we'll say open it for reading purpose. Right. So by the way, this dir is the address of this label thing and file will actually contain the car.txt, right? Uh, and then let's come over here and let's say lines equals to. So here we are, we want to read the files with respect to their lines, right? And then we'll say we want to extract the classes that are available in the file. So let's say classes. I cannot write classes with C because that is um, th that is a keyword. Uh, perhaps I think no. So class. I think class is a keyword, but classes is not a keyword. So we're good with it. So classes. Here we'll say line dot r strip and here we'll say for line in lines and then we'll say we want to get only the first first line and we want to split it on the basis of comma right and then we'll say for k in uh, let, let me just show you what will happen till now so let's just print um, let's just print file what what will this contain let me show you this will con okay so it says invalid syntax okay so we don't need this 
yeah i just paused the video because i wanted to sneeze <laughs> okay so here you can see that we have all these files right and then if i'll i'll show you what are the classes you'll see that this contains all the classes that we have in these in these files let's say uh, in first file we have car and sports uh, sorry we have person and sports ball uh, sports ball in second file we have person car and truck and so on right so now we want to iterate over the classes so i'll say for k or let's say for c n in other words let me say for class no i cannot write class so let me write class with k so for class in classes right here i'll say f class in dictionary dot keys so if it is already there what i want to do is i want to append the existing dictionary uh, the existing list right append with what append with file name right and then otherwise what i want to do is if it is not there then make it so i'll say dictionary of k equals to file in the form of list right so that's pretty much about it and here let me print our dictionary right oh i have a typo over here okay let's run it it should ideally create a dictionary that will that will contain the that will contain the name of a uh, class and also the name of class and the uh, the images the list of images in which that class actually uh, that class is available so for here uh, here it has only uh, listed baseball glove it hasn't listed all the all the classes or all the items that were available in the class so we we surely have made uh, some mistake let's let's see what we are let me review the code yeah again we have uh, a type over here so we should say class and also over here class now let's run it and uh, it should work yeah here you can see that it is saying that person is available in these many images almost in all three images uh, perhaps you can upload i mean thousands of images no no problem and car is available only in this car dot, uh, car image right and truck is available also in 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 car image um let's see if truck is there or not uh, sorry let's open this one and let's see yeah you can see that truck is over here so it is quite right now let's build a very simple and quick gui so i'll say drop down and here i'll say let's say its default option would be car and the other options would be i'll say hash hash sign and then at the rate of sign and then here i'll i'll pass some parameters and parameters would be let's say first parameter is car and then let's say truck um i have to i have to pass it in quotes and then let's say person and then let's say let's add uh, let's add such a class that is not available over here so so let's say let's add um train all right so 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 let's say these are the classes that we have and um, here i'll say just print the value of drop down right so let's say if i select person and i run the cell it will probably print the person in yes it is printing the person so here we'll say um now i want to print the value that has been chosen from drop drop down and i want to print print it for dictionary that i have already made 
and now let's run it for car first and you will see the name of images that contains car now let's run it for the person run it you will see the name of images that contains person now what if we will select such a such a class that is not available over here let's say train what will happen there will be an error probably here we go so it says there is a key error that's fine so how can we tackle it we'll say if drop down sorry drop down no. okay so if drop down in dictionary dot keys right so if it is already there then print the the image names otherwise let's say print an error message and say this class is not available in any image right so let's run it again and here you can see that this class is not available in any of the images and again let's run it for for truck this time and it should run here you can see that truck is also only in in the car.txt or or car car.jpj so that's about it that's about it um, that's how you can build a simple app by using um, by using this file don't worry about it this file will uh, the link of this file will be available in the description you can find it out all the material that I've discussed in the file will be available in the description and uh, if you like if you uh, like this video and if, if you want to watch more videos like this then you can hit the bell icon and you can subscribe our channel um, thank you very much <laughs>